Hi there, I'm Eric Evans and I'm a horticulturist here at the San Diego Botanic Garden and it is the World of Bromeliad show. And the world of bromeliads is bigger than you might think. You might think of bromeliads and you might think of something that looks like this. Very tropical, very rainforesty. You know, they are epiphytes so they don't need a ton of water in their roots, but you might think of them as getting overhead water frequently. And that's definitely true, in, especially in South America, right in the middle, kind of where the Amazon River is, there's a huge biodiversity of bromeliads. But not all bromeliads are tropical plants. You know, we are an educational institution and we want you to leave having learned something you didn't know before when you came in. And one of the things that we hope you learn is that there are dry adapted bromeliads. You might be looking at things in our desert gardens and not realize that you're looking at a bromeliad. What we have here are some pots where we have some South American plants here and the genera that I'm talking about are Dickia as well as Puya, like this or this, this is a Puya, as well as Orthophytum all the way over here. And those are all South American genera of bromeliads. And then over here, we have the Hectias, which are exclusive to North America. Now, the Hectias and the Dickias might look similar. You might even confuse them for each other. I know I have multiple times, <laughs> but they're actually not, uh, uh, they're not the same genus. So they're, they're, they're cousins, and not, if not siblings. Um, one of the coolest bromeliads that you'll see here, at probably even at the show, is this guy. This is Dickia estevesii. If you know bromeliads, you might know them for their sort of telltale rosette form. But here we have a bromeliad that grows like a fan. The Latin word for this, it's disticus, meaning it grows sort of in two dimensions uh, on either side. So you get this bromeliad that, look, that opens like a fan. It's just the most magical thing. And we have these planted alongside plants that you might also confuse for bromeliads. So here we have an agave not a bromeliad, not even in, vaguely in the same family, but that rosette pattern might confuse you. So if you're here in the desert garden and you think, well, what's that red agave? It's actually a bromeliad. The world of bromeliads is much bigger than you might think, and we hope that you keep your eyes peeled because we have unexpected bromeliads all throughout the garden.